So I just finished doing my live stream for my first impressions of the Framer CMS. Now, I've never used it before, and I think this was great timing to do it because I scheduled it. I already had it in my head to, to do it this week, and then the Framer Fall event happened. And one of the things that they announced that really caught my attention was that they're adding CMS reference fields, single reference and multi-reference fields. And I thought without even opening up the CMS panel that they already had it. And so now they've added it. But one thing that caught me and the rest of the Webflow community's attention was that they said that you can add as many nested collection lists as you want. And I quote, they said, go crazy. And this has been a limitation since forever in, in Webflow. And so I thought I'm going to try it. And during my live stream, I tried it. So for this video, I'm just going to tell you my first impressions and just tell you what I've learned during my live stream. So here we go on my screen right here is the CMS. And if you click on it immediately, they give you a option to add blog. And to me, I already thought, okay, this is probably going to have some sort of structure for one collection list and that's it. But when you click on this, a couple things happen and it caught me by surprise that they pre-populate everything and they give you the fields that you have that you want in a blog collection. So they have all of these already, but they also added in a second collection, which is categories, which is a multi-reference field that they already have right here. So I think that's pretty cool that you're up and ready within one click, right? And if I go into one of the articles, you can see right here, this is multi-reference. So that's pretty cool. And then I thought, okay, Let's see what it looks like on the page. And I thought I would have to create a page from scratch. No, they already added a blog page right here with the multi-reference fields ready to go. So right here, for example, CMS and basics. So everything's already halfway done for you, which is pretty cool. And even if you go here under pages and click on articles, now you have that blog post page, the detail page already set up for you. So I'm like, all right, that's cool. Moving on, I uh, wanna see what you mean by go crazy with nested collections. So right here on this blog, you already have one nested collection, which is, if I go to layers, you have this article. And then within this article, you have the categories collection. Now in Webflow land, you're limited to just that, just one. So let's go ahead and create a new one and we're gonna call it um, authors. Right, and let's go ahead and create a new one. We'll call it add John Smith, save new, Jane Smith, save new, and someone named the Pixel Geek, save. And uh, yeah, so that's done. So all I have to do is go back and I wanna add this. And so it's pretty cool right here under CMS, my author's collection is right here already. So I can click and drag this. Let me drag it right here and there we go. And let me format it correctly. So let's go ahead and put this in a stack, put this here. Okay. So make this stack vertical, but align to the start and then make sure that this is fit to fill. Yeah. That's what I want. This one should be start and fit to fill as well. There we go. Cool. So I have that, but it's showing all of these. So let me go ahead and fix that real quick. I can go to collections and we need to add these authors into the article. So let me go ahead and do that. Add a field for multi-reference authors. And there we go. So now I can just go here, add authors. And what I like about this part right here is that you don't have to press save when you're adding things to a CMS item. All you have to do is just click out. It's automatically saved. So that's really quick as you saw there. So now I have to go to the authors and we're going to do filters, add author. 
And now this one weird thing that I learned from the while I was streaming was just finagling with it was you have to go is included in and then we have to set the value to the variable of authors. So when I do that, then we show the real authors here and we're good. So yeah, the CMS is quite simple to learn and jump into and having even deeper nested collections is something I'm really looking forward to seeing because like how far can you go with this when they say go crazy with it? And the only example that I got was Noah Raskin. He was in the live stream and he showed off this, how this is just collection lists within collection lists where you have different types of parts like motorcycle parts or something like that with the year or something and then who which company has those parts and what kind of parts they are and it can get really deep with this very basic example and so i see this as a win for like very more e-commerce type of sites where it's very deep nested type of things but we'll see i don't know if framer has e-commerce but it's just a lot to learn but for basic marketing sites i could see this as a win so far but yeah that's my thoughts on framer cms yeah but excited to learn more about it and yeah so if you have any comments about this, what have I missed, or if there's anything you're excited about in the Framer CMS world, let me know in the comments below. And as always, subscribe, do all the cool things, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, so with that, as I always say, thanks for making the web beautiful together. See ya.